All right, I wanted to make a video talking about the speedometer cable connection on the back of the speedometer on the 67 Cadillac. And this one probably super simple to a lot of people, but to me it was a pain to figure out. This is the clip. You see how it's made? It's kind of a spring steel washer. It's got a couple tabs on it. Well, this is in a bad spot back in behind the speedometer. And I'm used to the Chevrolet style where it screws on, kind of like this end that goes into the transmission. And uh, I have the nut, the nut there, screws on on the other side. Well, Cadillac's not like that. They have the spring steel clip. And I was making it really complicated trying to get it to on and off. So uh, then I realized I have a spare speedometer and cable that came out of a parts car and I said I want to figure this thing out and after I got it out and got to looking at it it's pretty uh, extremely simple almost embarrassing simple you just slide it down under like that with the clips up and you stick it on there like this and it goes in it's square you know push it down until it clicks and then it's on that's it so then then you get the terrible task of uh removing it when you don't know what you're doing so hopefully this video may help somebody who knows what they're who don't know what they're doing but there's two two little uh springy parts that stick down on each side like right there right here and basically what you do is you pull up on both of those at the same time hard to do with the camera. If you pull up on both of those at the same time, it pulls right off. It, it loosens the grip on the, I guess the tapered shaft here, and it allows it to come right off. It made it look a little bit harder than it really was uh, trying to do it with one hand. but. Yeah, that's it. And there is a little cutouts in the end of the speedometer cable. I guess you could turn it if you wanted to, but really that's not necessary. Not necessary. So you put it on there. Push it down until it clicks. There's actually a couple different ways I figured out to do this. Oh, you can also put it on the end of the cable. Kind of held in position by the two tabs. And I looked in the manual and it was extremely vague on this. So you can put it on the end of the cable like this with the tabs connected and then you just, you can put it on here, make sure it's sliding in correctly and that also works and locks it into place so there's multiple ways of doing it it's actually not as i guess it's a pretty simple clip pretty simple design but it's not so simple when you can't see it and that was my problem is i could not see it and i was thinking my gosh why did they design this like this but after trying it off the car, where you can see it easily, it actually works good. So, like I said, I hope this helps somebody. Please like and subscribe.